hello youtube this is me indra and today i am going to show you how to create login form in java using netbin and linking it with sql server in the previous video also i have done the same but it works for netbin with a version less than 8 so in this video i will be creating the tutorial or the project that works in every versions of netbin so to start our project let us start the let us create a database at first so provide the username and password and click on connect then after right click on the database and click on new database and provide the name of the database test db then click on ok let me expand this and this one also test db is our database and then after right click on table to create a new table which will store our username and password first of all symbol number this will be integer without null then username this will be backer password this also will be backer and let this symbol number is our primary key and also auto increment it make it yes now this will be auto incremented and control s to save name of our table let it be test click on ok we can view over here our table test i will insert a row data username indra with password 1 2 3 4 5 let me check it whether this is saved or not select on top thousand rows okay it is saved now so our database work is finished let me minimize this and it's open the netbin so we need to create a new project click on new project then after in java categories choose java project application and click on next then after write the name of the project test login or login test anything you can write do not create the main class then click on finish let me expand this right click on the source package and click on go to new and click on jframe form so write the name of our class name login check then click on finish so this is the area where we have to design our login page login window so we need two level one for username and the other for password then after one text field for username another password field for password and two buttons one for sign in and the other for reset so let me edit the name this is username and this one is password this one same for this also ok I will change the variable name also right click on this and change variable name this is user name click on ok this is password ok and this is sign in button sign in let me change its variable name also sign in 
this is reset button I rename this also ok now we have to perform the action when we click when we click on the sign in button so double click on the sign in button ok now we have to write our code over here what action we have to perform when you click on the sign in button we have to check whether the typed in information is type in information match with the with the database information that is if username and password is provided by the user it should match with the data that is stored in the database so I have the code here so let me copy and paste this in our project let me show you all the code so we have to import the connection to import the connection click on this like a bulb symbol then add import the connection for all for prepared statement also to the same also for the result set add import also for j option pane also then after ok it's fine now ok driver manager we have left it ok this is the code what we have to do is we have to include it in the try and catch block class for name in class no for name is the specify which what kinds of driver we are using that is microsoft sql server jdbc driver and this will establish the connection jdbc sql server and local host with the database name name is test tv and user is sa and password is rq and it will establish the connection by providing the string type url ok this much here now we have to import a jar file to establish the connection between netbeans and sql server for that right click on the for that you have to download the jar file from the internet i will provide the link in the description bo box so here right click on the libraries folder then after add click on add jar file folder then I have stored it in D drive SQL JDBC 6.0 and click on SQL JDBC 4.2.jar and click on open. Let me expand this. It arrives over here. Now this is our coding for the sign in button. Okay, let me tell you one thing that you may get error when you provide this information what error you may get is there may not be the TCP connection in TCP connection may be disabled in the computer for that what you have to do is go to programs then after go to SQL Server Configuration Manager SQL Server Configuration Manager click on yes then this TCP IP status is disabled you have to enable this enable this one then click on ok you have to start the SQL Server Management Studio restart the SQL Server Management Studio then after again right click on it and go to properties then go to IP address and go down and in IP all the TCP port is empty you have to write here 1433 because we have used 1433 port in the code then click on apply and click on ok and again click on ok let me close this here we have used port 1433 so I have placed the same port number over there then after let me run this program once okay, let me provide some data over there and 
let me press the sign in button it is taking some time for the first time it may take some time okay it shows me the error this will be connection to the local host okay i haven't re restarted the SQL Server Management Studio so it shows me this error let me restart this right click on the server then click on restart then click on yes it will restart the server then again click on yes ok let me run the program once let me close this and run it again now it is correct it says username and password not correct because i have provided the garbage value let me provide the correct value in the 1 2 3 4 5 then click on sign in it says username and password match ok now this works for us let me close this and i will show you or i will show you how to code for the reset button also double click on the reset then after you have to code over here for this what you have to write is username username dot set text this will be empty when you reset similarly for password also ass password set text ok this will reset the value let me show you if I type some information and when, when I press reset button that will go out then after when you when the user in user provide information is correct you have to go to the next window for that what you have to do is create a new jframe form then click on right click on source package and click on jframe form then type in uh, for me success when it, it is if valid username and password, password is provided it will go to the success pa success class jframe form then click on finish ok i will take this when the username and password is correct i will take it to the success.java class for that what i have to do is over here i have to write the code it will display the message and when i press the ok button it will display the success window for that success success field equals to new success then after field dot set visible this will be true then I have to close the original window login window for that set visible false over here also That's, that will not create any problem ok let me run this once ok username and password match click on ok now the another window success window is displayed so thanks for watching please hit like button and subscribe my channel thank you